But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The purposes of his heart through all generations. Psalm 33, 11. bubbles up when he gets excited. Lately, I've been practicing my basketball drills in front of Joe's bowl. He loves it. He goes bubble bonkers. He even does the drills with me. Watch. First, we do our dribble drills. Then, we do our around the world drills. Joe doesn't have a hoop in his bowl, but I think in his imagination, he only scores a basket. Speaking of imagination, I wonder. If I could go back and do that red light, green light drill at camp again, would I do it differently? Wondering what happened. I'm gonna need a minute. Okay, so the last drill at camp today was called red light, green light. We all started at one side of the gym with our basketballs. And when Coach Stefan said green light, we all dribbled as fast as we could, trying to get to the other side first. But when Coach Stefan said red light, we had to stop. Yeah, Jill, it was a fun drill. But then, this is what happened. I was winning. I was really close to the other side. Chip, my best bud, was right behind me. Then he got right beside me. Coach Stefan said green light, and he dribbled, dribbled, dribbled with all my Cali might. Then Coach Stefan said red light. I looked up, and I saw I was just one dribble away from victory. What was I going to do? I could have probably just leaned forward a little and won. But that would go against the rules. If I follow Coach Stefan's rules, red light means I have to freeze. So that's what happened. What do you think I did? I can tell Joe wants to know what happened. Do you? Well, let's check out our Bible story first. Today's Bible story comes from 2 Samuel chapter 6. The Ark of God was very special to the Israelites and to God. Inside the ark were special items that meant a lot to God's people. It helped them remember that God was with the Israelites. So when King David decided to bring the ark of God into the city, he was very happy and excited. While the ark was being carried, David danced with all his might to praise God, and everyone in the kingdom cheered and blew trumpets. Finally, the ark of God was placed in the tent King David prepared. David gave offering to God and blessed everyone there and gave yummy food to all of the Israelites. It was a huge celebration. David was so excited, he didn't even care that he was only wearing his undergarments. Michal, who was the queen, watched David dancing from the window and was not happy. She told David that he should be embarrassed that he danced around for everyone to see. That was not how a king should behave. But David was so proud to dance for God no matter what. He didn't care about what other people thought. When we follow God, some people might not understand why we do what we do. But instead of worrying about what other people think, we can choose to praise God no matter what even when others don't get it. Following God is the best game plan. David followed God no matter what anyone thought. He wanted to show how much he loved God in everything he did, like dancing. And I can show how much I love God even when I'm practicing basketball. I really wanted to win the red light, green light game. If I just moved forward a little tiny bit during red light, I would have won. Some people might not think it's a big deal if you break a rule during a silly game, but it is a big deal because God would want me to be honest. Following God means listening to what God says. Right, Joe. So I didn't budge when Coach Stefan said red light, and I ended up coming in second, right beside my best bud, Chip. He's awesome. Oh, hey, look. I actually just got a message from Chip. He says, 
Hey, Callie, basketball camp was a incredible today. <laughs> he says, I was actually having a pretty bad day until I won in red light, green light. That made my day. Whoa, that is incredible. <laughs> and that wouldn't have happened if I hadn't done the right thing. It's true. Following God is the best game plan. Thanks for learning and growing with me today. Peace out, friends!